The travel to Uganda have um, given me a heartfelt encouragement to make this small YouTube to make everyone aware of what is happening to the gorillas, uh, one of you at a time. I will not be able to explain the extent of uh, how awful it has been, especially tourism has dried up in uh, Uganda. And since uh, per tourist, apparently they, it gives them $600 per person. But now that it has gone down, it's uh, become, um, there's a lot more poaching that's going on or illegal activities. So bushmeat, uh, they kill them for bushmeat, which is the poaching. Some rich folks think uh, that they enjoy the meat apparently, and then they think it's cool uh, mm -hmm. consuming it. And also the need for money cause, also caused some people to join in the poaching of mountain gorillas in order to gain income uh, by selling them. So I'd like to share with you just a small uh, glimpse um, of what the Nat National Geographic um, has captured uh, regarding the um, conservation of this endangered species. <laughs> Remember this uh remember the silverback that we saw in Uganda from a previous vlog? Well, the beloved silverback gorilla named Rafiki was killed by uh killed by poachers in Uganda. The forest has been closed since then due to the pandemic and also due to the incident. And a he was twenty five years old and this was written by Josh Losh uh, on June twelfth, twenty twenty in National Geographic. So poachers killed um, this well-known gorilla. He was very tourist-oriented, apparently, and he was has been leading 17 gorillas in western Uganda's um, Buwindi Impenetrable National Forest since 2008. Uh, the great ape apparently was a favorite of the tourist and died um, after a poacher um, thrust a spear into his belly, uh, penetrating uh, deep internal organs, according to a post-mortem report. Rafiki's family uh, continued to forage the forest, making it a symbolic group that they want to coexist with human beings, according to the International Gorilla uh, Conservation Program. Uh, he was he went missing apparently on June 1st and the next day he was found mutilated. So under Uganda's stringent laws, the four um, poachers were um, face a life imprisonment and also a fine of $5.4 million, uh, guilty of killing endangered species. So the incident follows, follows a warning from conservationists and government um, officials at the coronavirus pandemic uh, and accompanying lockdowns could force people to do poaching or other illegal activities uh, due to lack of income. We choose this job just to defend the nature. One small paragraph on environment. It seems like people forget that everything we want, have, need comes from nature. Clip on this is about but more, almost an hour, so I'll include the uh, YouTube uh, link down below on the description of the vlog to listen more to what you can do against poachers and also to help uh, preserve these uh, species. The clip from the National Geographic, National Geographic uh, will make you aware of what's going on over there. And we can... It is devastating, but it is a reality. We have not only destroyed and continually destroyed the planet due to lack of recycling, uh, i.e. due to lack of recycling and being aware of our material usage, but you can do your part um, against poachers um, or you can sit and, you, you know, you can sit behind those TV and kind of just accept the fact that it is part of life. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next adventure vlog. Mm -hmm.